How to apply boat waterline stripes like a professional. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a new multi stripe to the waterline of your boat. Before you get started, you will need a 2B pencil, a craft knife, squeegee, methylated spirits, and a clean lint free rag. Whenever you are applying stripes or graphics, it is a good idea to either work in a large shed where there is plenty of room to move around the boat, or outside on a clear day with no wind. Make sure your work area is clean and the ground is dry. If possible, go as far as to give the ground a sweep. First, we need to clean where the stripe is going to be applied, with a good hit of methylated spirits. I recommend wiping the waterline area over twice to be sure there is no polished residue remaining. Now, we need to mark out where the stripe is going to be applied to. Use your 2B pencil to mark where the top of the stripe is going to sit. In this case, I have a 45mm wide stripe, which I want to follow 10mm up from the chine. I'm going to place my mark 55mm up from the chine, and about 700mm apart. This is good, but you may want to bring your marks closer together to about 500 as you go around the curve of the bow, as you lose vision down the stripe at this point. Unroll your stripe along the length of the boat. This is easier than trying to work with it rolled up in your hand. Start from the stern and work forwards on both sides of the boat, finishing each stripe at the bow. To begin applying the stripe, peel back about one meter of backing paper from the stripe and align this just under your first two marks. Very lightly tack it to the boat at each end. Don't press down firmly as we are not ready to permanently stick the stripe down yet. You will see that it has a slight bow in it, which you will now need to correct. Lift up the stripe from point one all the way to point two. Hold the stripe parallel to the boat and apply gentle tension. Putting too much tension on the stripe will cause it to stretch and in extreme cases, break. Look from the back of the boat along the stripe as you place point one back into its mark. Looking along the stripe allows you to see bows and wobbles far more clearly than if you were looking at the boat from side on. Now tack in a third attachment point halfway between point one and two. Lift the front end of the stripe up and back to point three and remove another couple of meters of backing. Once again, look along the stripe and align the top of the stripe with the marks on the hull. Working in one smooth motion here is key. Don't try and apply in short sections to every mark as you will develop kinks. A gentle flowing line of best fit is better than one that hits every mark but isn't straight in between. Once you are happy with your alignment, tack in point number four. Now look down your stripe. Does it look straight all the way from the stern? If so, continue on with the rest of your stripe. If not, tack in point five about half a meter forward of your wobble. Go back and flick point one back up to point five. Again, look down the stripe and realign in a nice straight line. Tack point one back down. We are now ready to continue striping towards the bow. Keep working in sections of about two to three meters. Every time you are ready to move on to the next section of striping, tack in a new point about a half meter back from where you finished the previous section. This will become the new starting point for the section ahead. Flick the stripe back up to this point and align the next section to the marks on the hull. Check each section of stripe as you go by looking along it from the front and the back. If there is a wobble, then flick that section back up and realign before continuing. As you come to the curve of the bow, your line of view will become shorter, so start working in sections of about a meter. Pay attention to the curve of the hull as some may change angle. Make sure you keep the stripe parallel to the hull at all times. The bow of the boat can be tricky and may require a few attempts before getting it right. Happy with the positioning of your stripe? Now we can squeegee it down. If your stripe has a clear application tape on the front surface, wrap a rag tightly over your squeegee to help it slip over the surface. If your stripe has a paper front tape, then your squeegee will be fine as it is. Start from the center of the stripe and work your way towards the ends. This way, if anything goes wrong, you only have to flick up and reapply a small section of striping. To squeegee down multi-stripes with clear plastic application tape, place the squeegee in the middle and swipe towards the outer edges with every stroke overlapping your last as you move along. Make sure your strokes start from the center every time to avoid pushing the stripes together. To remove the application tape, simply lift up an end and peel it back against itself in a sharp angle as shown. Now we are going to trim the stripe back. The bow gets a lot of beating from rollers and anchor chains, so we're going to trim the stripe out of this area so it does not get damaged. 
Use a strip of masking tape as a guide, at the same angle as the bow, and trim along its edge. Remove the excess strut, and trim off the sharp corners to prevent them from lifting. Do the same for the back end of the stripe. About 30 to 40 millimeters in usually looks nice. Congratulations, you're done.